there we go. What is going on guys? It is Chris and today we are starting our playthrough with Pokemon Violet. Uh, now I did actually buy Pokemon Scarlet. I ordered it online and it was supposed to ship out uh, this week. Um, it shipped out really late, um, later than I was hoping. And unfortunately, because there's a crap ton of snow where I live, uh there's no way that it's going it was going to be here on time and uh but it's not supposed to be here monday anyway that's when it's supposed to get here uh, who knows if it'll get here then um so yesterday i think this is saturday when i'm recording this uh the day before on friday i went and actually picked up pokemon violet from the store and I lucked out because today it was absolutely terrible um, and there is no way of me getting out of my house. So that's, uh, I lucked out and glad I got Pokemon Valley when I got it. Uh, I didn't get the physical copy. Uh, I just get physical copies for Pokemon games, so that's why I got it. And yeah, so we're going to be playing this and this is, so I'm playing on the, the Switch OLED. Uh, I've been hearing people saying that if you're playing like on an original Switch, uh, the game runs terribly. But also I hear that from like other people, just in general, that the game runs kind of iffy. And there's also a lot of bugs. But we're just going to play and see what we get. Um, my hope for this session is just to get up to two badges. Um, but we'll see how the flow of the game goes. Uh, I honestly don't know what to expect. I'm going in this as blind as I possibly can. So, yeah, we'll just get in to it. Um, so I think my starter. Oh, I know what my starter is gonna be. It's gonna be the fire type. I almost always get the fire types as starters. Here's a look. Uh, I will be the boy on this one. On Scarlet, I will pick the girl character. Uh, and my name, Chris. Uh, there's no shift button. Okay, which is the back? Okay. I had to, I had to think about where the back button was for a second. If I can change my hair, I was about to say, if I can change my hair, uh, alright, so what do we got? Side fade. No. No. I mean, that kind of looks, that kind of looks cool. For the pompadour, no. Bowl cut, oh my gosh. Short, mm, nah. Trying to, is that it? I think the, this one is like close, kind of close to how I have my hair right now. So I think I'll go with this. Uh, platinum blonde, no. Violet. Violet, Scarlet, Silver. Ash Purple, Ash White. Do I just stick with black? I think, I wonder if it's Violet or and Scarlet in that order because I have Pokemon Violet. I wonder if I have, if I have Pokemon Scarlet, it would change the order. I, uh, I kind of feel like it would. I mean, 
I kind of want to... Is this... No. Because if I can't change my eyebrow colors to match, then I don't want it. <clears throat> Dark brown. See, this looks bad because I can't change my eyebrow colors. This would be fine if I could change my eyebrow colors, but can't do that now. So we'll stick with this. Uva? Is it Uva or Uva? Uva. Is it? I can't tell if it's Uva or Uva Academy. I am just gonna say Uva. <clears throat> Over complete. Blah blah blah. Eating the way into the future while valuing our individuality. It's time for you too to dive into the world of Pokemon. Ah, ah, ah. And here's the old man who, Director Clavo. Dr. Clavel, head of Uva Academy. Uh, yeah, so I'm already calling it here. This guy is going to be the main baddie of the game. Some For some reason. Haldea is a sprawling region bus bursting with lush nature and magnificent landscapes. It is also, of course, home to the mysterious creatures known to us as Pokemon. They reside here in great numbers, in fact. Look at that little fella. I'm still thinking that that guy is going to be the main baddie. Pokemon can be found living all over, in the seas, in the skies, even in our cities and towns. We humans coexist with Pokemon as we both help one another to live and thrive. Yuva Academy is here to help you learn even more about these precious partners. Within our halls, people from all regions gather to study together. And as Pokemon trainers, they have their Pokemon do battle, growing alongside them. Oh, that's a blacked out Tauros. Like, holy crap. That's a matte black. That's a matte black Tauros. That's the MKB HD edition Tauros. While our robust, while our robust curriculum curriculum of coursework helps our students draw forth their fullest potential. It is within these halls that you will find your friends, your Pokemon. Oh, okay. This is going. That's moving too fast. We the faculty and staff at Uva Academy cannot wait to welcome you with open arms. Okay. It's going way too fast. Yo, look at it. Pokemon Violet. It's the regional bird. Matt Black Tauros. Wait, those are actual Flamingo Pokemon? Oh my gosh. I thought I didn't expect there to be straight up Flamingo Pokemon. Okay, so what is this thing doing?
Okay, well that intro is not bad. Let me move this closer. That wasn't a, that wasn't a bad intro. I can't keep up with the text. I'll keep I'll keep that a buck fifty. Oh yeah, it does the thing where so the game knows that number one I have a Switch OLED. Um and it also can tell the color of my I'm pretty sure it can tell the color of my things. So let me yeah. Um yeah, we'll do that later. Oh. I guess I I guess I'm now saving. Okay, so I'm assuming the assuming the game is saved. Okay, so see how the I'm I'm gonna show you a trick because I learned this in uh, Pokemon X and or not Pokemon X and Y in Sword and Shield. So the switch over there, it show uh, a cool thing is is that it sh number one shows that I have the OLED uh, switch, um, and it's the white version with the dock and everything, but I also have these. Uh, let's see if I can get that up close. I have these pink and white button uh, custom Joy-Cons that I got. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch these out. So I'm gonna switch these out. Now the trick is this only, I have to restart my uh, switch when I do this. So now I have the I have the pink and white ones on here and actually I'll show it in game it's mapped to like it they programmed the when I got them made they programmed the Joy-Cons to actually show the colors and everything. So uh if I go here to controllers you can see that I have those those pink and white ones showing up. So I'm gonna close the game. And I'm gonna restart it. And then what you're going to see is that they are going to match the color of the Joy-Cons on the switch in game to the ones that I have connected to my switch right now. That was a cool little detail that I noticed. I was like, that's cool. It's cool that they did that and that they could actually read that sort of info. Oh. Well, just kidding. Apparently, it only sees that I have a, uh, it only shows that I had a, well, that's kind of, that's kind of disappointing. You know what? I'm going to do a quick detour, uh, just to prove that I'm not crazy. I'll be right back. Where is it? Please hold up. Okay. So to show that I wasn't the show that I wasn't trolling, um I have my Pokemon Sword. Or not Pokemon Sword, but I have Pokemon Sword, but I'm going to be showing this with Pokemon Shield. Alright, so we'll change 
This is the biggest detour ever. I hope I hope I don't have an update for Shield. I feel like I shouldn't. Okay. <clears throat> so back I'm just gonna show this again. So back on the controllers, I have my pink and white Joy-Cons. And Pokemon Shield and Sword and Shield, this is why this game is like underrated. Uh, by the way, uh, this game will change the color of the Joy-Cons of your Switch in your room to being the, like it'll change it to being the color of the Joy-Cons that you have connected to your Switch. Or it was supposed to. You know, that, I wonder, I think I know why it's not changing. It's because I'm using my Pro Controller. I think it reads whatever the main controller is. So if I were to, If I were to connect my old, so I'm using these Joy-Con. Oh, so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to change this. This is a big freaking detour. Oh gosh. Change grip order. Yeah. So I guess it's, oh God, I have to go through this really quickly. All right, time to button mash. Yeah, I got the master ball. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go out here. I need to see. I wonder if it updates if you do a room transition. It does! See? See? I'm not lying. I'm not lying. So it's based on whatever your main controller is. So I'm using these ones. So those are the white and uh, black ones. So now I'm going to switch these out for my pink ones. So now I'm just wondering if the switch in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet just assumes that your switch is the pro version. Like, I feel like it assumes that you have the Switch OLED. But, like, how would it know that you have the white version? Because there is a... There's the black dock for the OLED. So, I feel like it has to know if you have... Like, what version of the OLED you have. Oh, yeah, so see. There's the pink with the white Joy-Cons. So, that's in Pokemon... Uh, that is in Pokemon, uh, blah, 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 Sword and Shield. So now let's go back to, let us go back to, uh, Pokemon Violet and see if they actually retained the feature of the change in the color of the Joy-Cons. So this just might be a reason for me to use my regular Joy-Cons instead of my Pro Controller. 
I don't know why, but I don't like the Pro Controller that much anymore. Like, it doesn't feel as nice as some of my other controllers, I would say. Ah. Uh, okay, that's kind of disappointing. So... They don't change, so they, I am why didn't they keep that? That was such a cool little Easter egg. So, so Sun and Moon had the changing uh, grips, but this doesn't, not, oh, okay, yeah. Already off the bat, coming from Sword and Shield to this, you can kind of tell there's some performance hiccups. It doesn't, it, Sword and Shield definitely feels a lot more smooth, and I'm kind of surprised at how this is, like, how it's changing. Mom, I'm going. You know, I was seeing people, like, apparently memeing over how attractive the mom character is in this game, and I have to, I have to keep it above 50. Yes, I agree. The one good thing about going from 2D to 3D. <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> Apparently, there's something very important for your first day that still hasn't arrived. Ding dong. <clears throat> Maybe that's the very thing we were waiting for. Chris, get the door, would you? Okay, okay. Can I sprint in house, please? Like. Do forgive the intrusion. Excuse me? Is this the fake professor? You aren't Master Chris, yes? I'm a master already? Bro, they're just handing out Pokemon Master to everyone. Like, you, you just start the game and you're immediately a master. On behalf of the Academy, I must apologize for the late arrival of your enrollment documents. Ah, and also for my delay in introducing myself. I am the director of Yuva Academy. You may call me Mr. Clavo. Also, this is the main antagonist of the game. Just... We're just gonna get that out there. I'm pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. The director, and you came in person to help my son with his first day? Well, I am responsible for the entire academy, including any failures on its part. So here at last are the enrollment documents that should have already been delivered to you. In a giant bag. Goodness, you really needn't have. Needn't? Needn't. Huh. Since you've come all this way, can I at least offer you a cup of tea? Ah, uh, no need to trouble yourself. Anytime I hear someone say the words cup of tea, I have to read it in like an accent. Chris, I've got a thing or two to discuss with the director here. Why don't you head back up to your room and finish getting ready for school? You'll need your bag and your hat as well. Oh god, we're getting we're gonna have the terrible hat. Now, Mr. Clavel, you simply must join me for a cuppa. This way. Oh my god. Well, how can I refuse such a kind offer? Bruh. I wonder what their accents are gonna be like in the anime. I should- I feel like I should, like... I don't know why, but I feel like I wanna binge, like, the Pokemon anime now. Uh, so my bag and my hat. Ready to put on your hat and grab your bag? Yeah. God, that's such a bad hat, dude. Also, my entire uniform just, like, why the shorts and the long socks? Alright, your Ridger Guide. You can press the X button to open the main menu. Select the save option from this menu to save all the progress you made in the adventure so far. One, you open. 
up your bag, you'll find some key items inside, including your adventure guide. Check it out whenever you want to review handy tips like these at your sleeve along your adventure. Yeah, I am. I do not like this hat at all. I, I need to upgrade my fit as soon as humanly possible because I cannot stand this. Oh, just look at you, all ready for your big first day. Yes, the uniform of our storied academy suits you quite well indeed. Oh gracious, how very careless of me. I had entirely forgotten that I have, that I have something else for you, Masipris. A most important thing. But your living room is hardly the place for it. Would you care to follow me outside? We're getting our Pokemon, let's go! I wonder what this important thing might be. Let's follow the director out and see, shall we? We're either getting our Pokemon or we're already getting our mount. But I don't think... Because it'd be weird if we're the only person that gets the mount from the... Uh, director. Right then. Dear Pokemon, time to kind of all your Pokeballs. Go, go! We provide each student entering the academy a Pokemon of their own. I'll ask you to choose which amongst these three you'd like to have as your partner. Brigatito, the grass cat Pokemon? We Coco, the fire croc Pokemon. And Quaxley, the duckling Pokemon. Pomp. Frickin' Pompadour. They're all very good company, why? They use. They usually refuse to even leave my side. Oh, hold on. What's this? Hmm. So it turns out they're more interested in you, Master Chris, than familiar old me. I do wish I could stay and see which one you'll choose, but I must be off to my next home visit. Bro, I you are leaving me with all of these Pokemon. I could just take them all, like. How would you even expect me to just take one? I'll be at the house j just over there. Take your time with your decision, then come find me once your mind is made up. Bro, I can just take all of these Pokemon and dip. <laughs> and nobody will be the wiser. Now if you excuse me, until next we meet. What a mannerly fellow that doctor, the director of yours is. These three all, these three are all lovely, but you need to choose just one, right? Not an easy task. Why not take this opportunity to walk about with these little ones and get to know them? Wait, am I get to? I'm sure, I'm sure they'll have lots to teach you. Oh, but before you go, I got you a little something to celebrate your big day. Take it with you if you're going out on your own. You have tamed the Rotom, the Rotom phone. The Rotom phone. You put the Rotom phone, blah, blah, blah. Rotom, Rotom phone. Uh, is it Rot, is it Rotom or Rotom? I, th I think it's Rotom. All right, Rotom phone. The latest model of smartphone, a Pokemon called Rotom lives within it and it can be used to run all sorts of handy apps. It's a brand new phone. According to the instructions, you can check the map ex you can check the map app by pressing the Y button. It'll help you it'll help keep you from getting lost. So take good care of your new gadget, okay? Now off you go, have fun. We'll do. Head to the house down the way.
Can I change the camera speed? Okay, your your Rotom phone. Danny Rotom phone is a popular item used throughout the Paldea region. Adding apps to it gives a trainer access to a variety of useful functions. Using the map app, you can find useful information about the Paldea region. If you move the map cursor over your own icon and then move the right stick from side to side, you'll rotate your own view along with the map. Handy for getting yourself oriented. You can use the left stick to move the magnifying glass around the map and find locations. Select the location by pressing the A button, and you can set it as your next destination. The flying taxi service can take you to some places you visited before. Before, Places that you can fly to are indicated with the feather mark. Try taking flight. Cool. Uh, where is... Okay, that's zooming in and out. Options, tech speed, fast. Skip moves, learning, no. Uh, wait, so how do you, then how would you do, if you set that to skip move, learn, move learning, how would you get new moves? Would you never get new moves if that's the case? Send boxes manual. I'll, I'll change that to manual in the event that I actually want to swap a Pokemon out. Red Oak Camera Controls, Auto Save, Background Music. B there is no option to increase my camera speed. Bro. Bro. Hey, let me talk to Spriggy. Spriggy, Spriggy Tito. Quackly, Donald. All right, since I can't talk to you, can I finally talk to you? God, it took way too long for you to, to try and talk. I'm just trying to... Oh, cool. What's this? Ocean! I will say at first glance... Oh, did they... Can Pokemon, like, find something? Huh. Yeah, this thing, even on the quote-unquote nude hardware, this thing is chugging. And visually, it does, I will, I will concede that this game visually looks very rough. Like, if you didn't like the way that Sword and Shield looked, then you will absolutely hate the way that this game looks. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I almost, I almost think that Sword and Shield looked better than this. And people hated that. And, like, people hated the way that that game looked because of the freaking tree. Oh, I can finally run. Oh, happy day. This is Cabo Poco. It's not much. Just a little pinch of community, but it's home. Cool. <clears throat> Do I want to talk to every single NPC? Uh, sure, why not? Power of Science. 
The power of science is amazing! If you connect with friends, you can head out on adventures together. Up to four of you at a time. Well, uh, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, I don't have any friends. So, I won't be doing that. <laughs> we Sag boys. I'm actually, I'm not actually sad about that. I like, I like, I, I, I've always felt more, I've always felt more, like, single player -y for Pokemon stuff. All the Pokemon are off doing their own thing. Is this going to prompt me to, like, manually catch a Pokemon? Okay, so Free Coco likes food. I accidentally torches food. Are you these three's trainer? Not quite. Master Chris has yet to make his choice, you see. About to get gaslit. I do wonder which of them he will choose. Oh my god, he's trying to eat it. So now I actually have to pick one. When us? We haven't met yet, have we? I must say, I wasn't expecting to see you here quite so soon. Bro, I was taking my sweet ass time. What do you mean? Hang on, Director. Is this who I think it is? Yes. This is our Academy newest student, Master Chris. He will be attending as of today. So you're that kid who moved in... So you're that kid who moved in up the road. I've been dying to find out more about you. I'm Mimona. Normally, I don't live in the school dorms, but home is here. What do you say, new neighbor? Wanna be friends? Sure! What if I said no? I <laughs> love that enthusiasm. I'm gonna get along just fine. Miss Nimona is president of our student council and a champion ranked trainer in her own grade. Oh my gosh. Is she actually going to be a... So you're telling me that this is actually going to be a challenging rifle to fight? <laughs> and not like uh, the more friendly rivals in like Hop and... Uh, what's his face? Hop and How. Or like any other like rival that we've had. I absolutely love Pokemon battling. In fact, we should battle right now, you and me. Easy now. You two will be in the same class, so we'll have plenty of time to battle later. And get to know one another better, of course. We're gonna be neighbors and classmates? Nice! We'll be able to battle all we want. On that note, Master Chris. Pick one. Have you decided which of these Pokemon you would like? To, you would like to be your first partner? I've, I've 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 already I've picked like months ago, and by months ago I mean I I already know which one I'm picking. I I'm always gonna go for the fire starter. That's Fui Coco, a fire type Pokemon. Actually, mm, yeah, no, I'm I'm gonna go for the fire starter. On my personal one, I'm just gonna have all three. With burning heart sparks, it scatters, will fry any and all plants in a flash. Would you like to go with our good fire type Pokemon, Fui Coco here? 
Yes. Rah. You chose Fui Cook out. Would you like the Fui Cook or anything? Where's the music? Where's the do 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 do? Uh, no nicknames. I don't do nicknames. Sorry. Dude, I'm kind of mad. There's supposed to be music there, and there's no music. Okay. Oh, uh, there's well, there's there's a music. Okay, in the pre-rendered cutscenes, you can see like the scales. Like it's in game, but it's pre-rendered, so like they put way more detail into it. Fui Coco seems to have taken quite a liking to you, Master Chris. This is your first Pokemon, yes? Please raise it with love and care. And of course, be sure to keep it tucked safely inside a Pokeball. Bleep. Chris, I can't believe you actually chose Fui Coco. I mean, like, way to make the perfect choice for you. You two make such a good combo. Can I choose one of these Pokemon too, Director Clavel? Clavel? I, I, I'm gonna call him Clavel. Oh, but did you not receive a Pokemon when you entered the Academy, Miss Lemona? Not back then, no. I had other Pokemon I was focusing, I was focused on raising at the time. But now I want to raise a new Pokemon alongside Chris while he raises his own new partner. Indeed, a rather splendid idea. If you wish to raise one of these Pokemon on equal footing with Master Chris here, I should be more than happy to allow it. Yes! No! 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 Don't! You're supposed to choose the you're supposed to choose the water type. Don't choose the type I'm weak to or that I'm strong against. Ah. <laughs> they had me in the first half. I thought this was going to be like a strong uh, rival this time around. Ah. Uh, since Chris chose Fui Coco, I'll go for this little one. Nice to meet you, Sprigatito. Welcome to the team. Let's spare. Alright then. Now that we've chosen our Pokemon, we have to battle. I'll be waiting for you down at the bench. Come join me when you're ready. As you may have noticed, Miss Lamona is a tad overly fond of Pokemon battling. But I do hope you'll join her for a battle. It will help you get to know your own Pokemon as well. Bruh. I was really hoping that she would pick the water type. Okay, I can't pick fruit. Wait, the bench. Where is the bench? Uh, I don't see the bench, but I see a beach. Maybe she meant the beach, and I just misread that. Over here! Anyone can be a Pokemon trainer as long as they have Pokemon by their side. And it's our duty as trainers to help our Pokemon go stronger through battle. So, you ready to battle me, Chris? Yeah. Guess this is just gonna be a cakewalk because it's not a weak typing. Perfecto. I'm so excited for this battle. I'll think I'll use Miss Nimona. I trust you remember that Master Chris is wholly inexperienced in Pokemon battling. Hey, don't talk for me. All right. <laughs> Oops. Good call, Doctor. I was about to send out one of my usual partners right off the bat. Okay, see, do that. At least give me a challenge. <laughs> I guess I'll take this chance to try out my new bunny instead. Bruh. Come on, Chris. Let's have us a fruitful battle.
Pokemon Trainer Demona. Springy, 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 Tito. Free, 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 Coco. I know this is your first Pokemon battle, so let's just have some fun. Ew, okay. Okay, so off the bat, I will say at least the battle, like, animations gives me, like, Pokemon Coliseum vibes. I would like the way it looks. I don't know how the animations are, but I feel like the animations are going to be, like, basic. So, yeah, but, like, overall, that kind of reminds me of, like, I- and you already give me the strong attack! Bro, I'm gonna- I'm gonna do this entire battle without using Ember, just to make it harder for me. Spring to you, use the leafage. Okay, yeah. Here you go, guys. Tackle. Uh, Leer... Jo Leer drops defense, right? Okay, yeah, that drops defense. Okay. So we'll go with that. And then you dropped my defense, too. But you're using Leaf... Wait, is Leafage a physical attack? I'm gonna do two Leers. Okay, that's not even a physical attack. You would have to use tackle on me for that to even like do anything. All right, so that's two leers in. I wonder if it's. I wonder if she's just going with stab. Uh, let me get in another leer. Okay, so now I'm two defense down. I'm honestly just dragging this out because, like, I could just, like, it's too easy. I could just, oh, there we go. Let's see. Oh, but now it's in. Ooh. <laughs> I almost screwed myself there. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, I should have... Wow, not bad, neighbor. So, I kind of screwed myself there because I got Sprigatito. I should have used another uh, Leer because I got Sprigatito in uh, whatever the... I can't remember what the... Uh, I don't remember what the grass equivalent is for, like, Blaze or Torrent. But basically, it was in the range where it was health was so low that it boosts the power of uh, grass type moves, and because it has stab or it's like its same type, its stab is same type attack bonus. Uh, it basically almost killed me there. Oh, <laughs> uh, see, I had to make that battle harder for me by not using tackle, or not by not using tackle by. Not allowing myself to use Ember there. I have to make self-imposed challenges. <laughs> uh, look at you, winning your first battle ever. You've got even more potential than I thought. You're going to be a strong trainer for sure. But now, I want to try a different strategy. Let's go again. Just one more battle. Master Chris and his Fui Coco are surely wary already from that last battle. Yeah, no, I'm on three HP. Ah, sorry, I kind of got caught up in all the excitement. I'm really sorry, Chris. Same to you, Fui Coco, too. Don't worry about it. Let's battle again soon. Oh, definitely. We'll definitely battle more. You two seem to be you two seem to be becoming fast friends. Though you've only just met. Can I count on you to take your new schoolmate here under your wing, Miss Nimona? I'm sure he can learn a great deal from a champion right trainer such as yourself. You bet, sir. Oh, that reminds me. 
Since you're new to training Pokemon, there's an app you definitely need. You have a smartphone, right? Let me see it for a sec. Beep beep. The Pokedex app was added. Let's go. The Pokedex will automatically retro any Pokemon you catch. It's a must have for Pokemon trainers. It's super handy app. Our homeroom teacher, Mr. Jacques, actually made it himself. Back in my day, back in my day, <laughs> we used ordinary, we used ordinary paper and handwritten notes to compile our Pokedexes. Bro, there's, you are not that old, bro. Calm down, dude. It's quite the age we live in now. Oof. Filling out a Pokedex by hand? I can't even imagine how much work that would take. Oh, no, I suppose you can't. Yet, no matter how much the times may have changed, the wonder of meeting new Pokemon never does. That is a truly timeless pleasure. And the more Pokemon that you encounter, the more you'll find yourself growing and changing. I hope you will both work hard towards the goal of completing your own Pokedexes. Now, Miss Nimona, I do still have a few matters to discuss with your parents. Could I depend on you to see Master Crystal the Academy? You would be doing me quite the favor. Of course, leave it to me. Then I leave him in your capable hands. Alright, little one. It's time you and I were on our way. Yeah, see, he's gonna have the water starter, and then he's gonna be, like, the main antagonist at the end. So, yeah. Oomph! <clears throat> Maybe I ought to make a little more time to work on my Pokedex along with my all my battling. Oh, right. Speaking of Pokedexes, Chris, you've probably never caught a wild Pokemon, right? I'll show you the ropes before I take you to the academy. Come with me. Alright, opening your Pokedex, press the minus button to open the Pokedex app on your Rotom phone in a flash. You can also navigate to your Pokedex by pressing the X button from the map access. Uh, okay, the Pokedex app. Battle or catch Pokemon to compile volumes in your Pokedex app with fancier covers to po for Pokemon you've caught. With fancier covers for Pokemon you've caught, open up your Pokedex to view all the volumes you collected on a digital shelf and check out what rewards you can earn by pressing the X button. Press the plus button when looking at a Pokemon you've registered in your Pokedex, and you can check the Pokemon's habitat to learn more about where they can be found and where they're active. Explore different areas as you adventure and meet tons of Pokemon. Cool. Recently caught Fuecoco, Fuecoco, Fuecoco. Recently battled Sprigatito, Sprigy, Sprigy, Sprigatito. Cool. Uh, is there anything on this? Oh. oh. Okay, so you can crouch. I think that's gonna come in handy when it comes to like catching wild Pokemon. Because isn't this game like a hybrid? Oh yeah. You can send out your Pokemon. Alright, how do Okay, so the R is to call out call a Pokemon and then Z, R is to bring them back. <clears throat> yeah, so this is like... Oh, bag it up. So this is like hybrid. Okay, so that zooms the map out. I feel like I want... I feel like I want to play like this. Even though it's going to make everything show up more obviously and it's gonna look just it's gonna look even worse 
Uh, I cannot get up there, but I feel like I'm gonna have to get up there at some point. Uh, go to the house. Oh, go to the front gate. Uh, I'm gonna look around some more. Wait, what is this? Oh, it's a Dratini. Can you get a, a Dragonite in this game? Or a Dratini? Essentially. I hope you can. Thank you. Can I fall off this cliff? I don't want to test that, but I feel like you could fall off the cliff. Antidote. There's no jumping. Bro. <laughs> well. That's... I want to... Dude. <laughs> That the first, the first that was in like one of those. Well, not my first, uh, within my first hour of playing the game, I have come into my unstuck zone. What's my mom doing out here? Oh, Chris, I hear that Nimona will be taking you to school. That's right, ma'am. Leave it to me. So you've already managed to make a friend. Mm-hmm. And I've read all about the one... I've read all... I've read about all the wonderful teachers you'll have looking after you at school. Plus so many handy facilities you can use as much as you like. Add in your new friend, Nimona. And it sounds like your school life is shaping up to be fantastic. And I wish my actual school life was that way. <laughs> now, you'll be staying in the school dorms, so I want you to promise I want you to promise me you'll eat proper meals. Here's a bit of spending money to start off with. I've also packed a lunch for your first day. I got a sandwich from mom. Dish made by sandwiching vegetables, meat, or other ingredients between two pieces of bread. They literally explained what a sandwich is for those that did not know what a sandwich was. Oh, and maybe you'd better take these too. Five potions. Let's go. Use them on that precious little partner of yours should it get hurt in battle. I know every day in your new life is going to be full of exciting experiences far from home. Just try to savor them all, the good times and the hard times too. But if you ever want to come back home, you know your bread is always ready for you. Thanks, Mom. Oh, alright then. You two had better be off, I suppose. Take care on the way to school. Bye. Your mother is so nice, Chris. But I was going to teach you how to catch wild Pokemon. Come on, vamos! Vamos! When the game has to remind you that it's the freaking it's this it's Spanish inspired. Vamos! Okay. Uh, I. What is my... Okay, that pulls up my map. Alright, auto heal. The auto heal feature will automatically select items from your bag and use them to heal your Pokemon. To use auto heal, highlight the Pokemon you want to heal from the main menu and then press the minus button. Auto heal will use up items in the following order. Potions, fresh waters, soda pops, super potions, lemonades, mumu milks, hyper potions. Okay, so my Fui Coco is male. I did not get the female. Oh, there's a weasel. Let's go. I might. I kind of want to only use new Pokemon in my party. So. All right, this here is Poco Path. It's the path that leads to adventure for you and me. 
for you and me, for you and me, yeah, go with that. Out here, things are different than in town. You're gonna see wild Pokemon out and about. They'll be on the path and in the grass and such. Get too close to one and you'll have to battle. But you got Fui Coco for that, right? And if you want to try and catch a Pokemon, you gotta use a good old Pokeball. I've got tons, have a few. You know, let's yonk, let's yonk. I feel like I have to, I have to level up let's yonk. Fanvers are learning by doing. Try battling this let's yonk, Chris. Wow, they're having me do it. Catch a Pokemon. You can try to catch a wild Pokemon you were battling by pressing the X button and throwing a Pokeball. When you have, when you're having a hard time catching a Pokeball, try to deal damage to it before throwing another Pokeball. That should give you a better chance of success. Yeah. All right. You know what? We're just gonna go for it. I'm not even gonna try to battle it. There we go. They made, they made the catching animation super fast, so that's cool. Oh, Lachonk is only normal? Okay. This Pokemon burns all but the finest of foods. Its body gives off a herb-like scent that bugs, that bug Pokemon detests. Uh... A chunk has been added to your party. I feel like I should name I should have named it Lithic, but <laughs> that's hala, that's awesome. You caught the very first Pokemon you went for. I'm crummy when it comes to actually catching Pokemon. Maybe you should give me tips. <laughs> Anyway, you have some more Pokeballs, just in case. Not every catch works out. Now I got ten Pokeballs. Let's go. They're like, yeah, actually go catch Pokemon. Please and thank you. I will do that. Weaken the Pokemon, then throw the Pokeball. Remember that, and you'll be fine. Now, go battle those wild Pokemon and catch some of them. Am I gonna... Let's meet back up at that lighthouse over there. You can see our school from the top. All right, it might take me a little while to actually get to uh, Pokemon. I might have to just do the tutorial and then dip. Battling against wild Pokemon. The Pokemon you see wandering around in tall grass, caves, and elsewhere are wild Pokemon. When you run into a wild Pokemon, a Pokemon battle will begin. You can also start a battle by looking towards a wild Pokemon and throwing out one of your Pokeballs as it throwing one of your Pokeballs at it by using the ZR button. Try this tactic out in battle to battle Pokemon that are up in trees or flying in the sky. Oh, so I guess ZR is just the regular just regularly let you throw your Pokeball out. Um, we are torching you. That poke, that hoppet almost felt like it was relieved to get offed. This ledge is sort of funny to be on.
Hey, cool. Lechonk hair? I got hair from that Pokemon? What does this do again? Okay, the user attacks the with the songs. If they use this move, they will act immediately after the initial user and the power of rounds will be boosted. So this is like a team move. And this has... Okay, so... Oh, well, that's super effective, so I might as well just use that anyway. Because that has stab plus super effective. And I got a hop, at least. A rare candy already? Ooh! Ooh! A fletchling! I don't... Like, I don't need this Pokemon, but I like this Pokemon, so I'm catching it. I'm probably not going to prep that ball is floating in the air. I didn't even go to the ground. Fletch League! Have we found in both rural and urban areas, they once had a huge territorial dispute with Squawkabilly? Flights, fights broke out all over the town. So, I guess I gotta find a Squawkabilly. that I actually think of I should actually go and try and catch all the Pokemon Tarantu Taran Taran Tarantula I I think I got it all right so I think round will be fine to get to crit okay that's not even that bad Cool. Tarantula. Tarantula thread. A string ball Pokemon. The thread it's strip the thread it secretes from its rear is as strong as wire. The secret behind the thread strength is the topic of ongoing research. I like to give Tarantula a nickname. No. Where is... Because I should actually catch that Hoppet now. May, I hope I didn't, like, yeet all the Hoppets out of existence. That's that is very framey. Very framey indeed. Oh. Excuse me? Wait. Did this did it just auto fight a Pokemon for me? Excuse me? Is that what it does? 
I can auto fight Pokemon. Wait, that doesn't. Bro, I can auto fight Pokemon. I wonder if it auto fights if you're capable of one shotting. Like. Bro, that's actually. I'm gonna be honest, that's actually kinda goaded. But will I run out of moves? Like, I feel like I'm about to run out of moves. Like, is it gonna tell me when my moves are low? I'm just farming. I'm farming XP. Nope. Get him. Get him. Get him. Let's go. I wonder if you get less XP that way, or if it's the same amount of XP that you would get. Where is this? That it's a new Pokemon. A scatterbug. Oh, that doesn't burn through XP. Huh. Let's do round because I think it's still not that much of a damaging move for me. Yeah, so it's still in decent range. Uh, let's catch you. Get in there. Let's go. Yeah, so I think that the quick battles... Okay. I think the quick battles give you less XP. Um, but is like, good for clearing stuff out easily. Let me fix my lights really quickly. They're about to change. There we go. Okay, so this Pokemon scatters poisonous powder to repel enemies. It will eat different plants depending on where it lives. Would you like to give Scatterbug a name? No. Like Scatterbug. Now I need to find another Hoppet. I'm kind of. I feel bad that I kind of cleared out the only bits of Hoppet in here. Yep. We're full on battling this time. But I should one sh Oh, it doesn't one shot. Does the chonk have thick fat? I should check. So I'm wondering when I'm wondering when would be a better time to use Uh, let's see. Check summary. Terra type normal. Ability Aroma Veil protects the Pokemon and its allies from effects that prevent from effects that prevent the use of moves. All right. So I think 
Oh, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. I'll just take some free XP. Nice. Uh, alright. Wipe it out. <clears throat> what did I just walk into? I was a little chonk, but it was like super hidden from me. Bye bye. Bye bye, chonky. Alright, I want to try and find another hop it. Oh, they're sleeping. It's like what it looked like they had like blue fire fire like over them. Oh, there's Hop It. There we go. I think I just go for the Pokeball. I'm not gonna try and weaken this thing. It's only level two. There we go. Hop hip. Cat and weed Pokemon. Outside of cold regions, Hop hip can be found practically everywhere. This is because the wind carries this species all over the world. Do I give Hop It a name? No. You know, I was calling this Pokemon Hop It for the longest time. Like, I think I was calling it Hop It until I. Until I actually caught it, which basically was like before now. Alright, there's no movement tech there. There is a chonky boy. And if you get really if you get real good at catching Pokemon, give me some advice. I'm not great at the actual throw the Pokeball part. Yeah, well it's all in the wrist. So is it just catch Pokemon or can I go? Cause I already got all the Pokemon that I want. Oh, can I like I cannot get up there. Sad mad I'm sad madge and depraj. Thanks. We've got to revive. Chesto berry. There's also like some big hair. Uh, yeah, that was the berry. And the paralysis heals, the paralyzed heal. Uh, no. Ooh, what is this? It's the little mouse thing. Oh my god, it's tiny. Paw, paw me. Well, paw me, you scratch. I'm actively gonna try and complete the Pokedex for this since I since I went and bought both games, I might as well like play them and complete the Pokedex. I need to get my money's worth out of these games. Struggle bug! Let's go. Ooh, electric type, cool. Alright, palm meat. This thing weighs the same amount as that scatter bug? I don't believe it. Okay. Alright. Pommy. The pads of its paws are electric are electric are electricity discharging organs. 
Pommy fires electricity from its forepaws while, while standing unsteadily on its hind legs. No nickname. Uh. Uh. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna wait until one of my Pokemon uh, evolves, or when I get like the bug Pokemon evolved. All right, your Pokemon boxes. You can keep six Pokemon in your party at once. Yep. Any other Pokemon can be sent to your Pokemon boxes for safekeeping. From the main menu, you can select your boxes to open them up. From there, choose Pokemon to swap in and out of your current team. Probably one of the best features that they've introduced in Pokemon game. Okay, and then I get two Hoppips, like, back to back, on top of me. <clears throat> yeah, I definitely like having the larger camera, even though the game, I can see all the jank of this game. Like, the fact that it's barely running at 30 FPS. Uh, did I go too far? Oh yeah, I was supposed to go to the lighthouse. Hey, Chris. You're, you getting the hang of how to catch a po Pokemon okay? Let me see. So far, you've caught... Gah! Whoa, what was that? Wow. I've never heard that kind of cry before. Could be some strong Pokemon or something. Bro, that's the legendary. It was flying too far and it crashed into the lighthouse. I say we found whatever made that cry. Let's take a look around, Chris. Just be careful. There's a kind of unsafe cave not far from here, so steer clear. And I know your Rotom phone can help keep you safe, but watch your steps by these cliffs anyway. Good fall off the cliff. An ether. Let's go. Cool, cool. I wish there was actual running shoes. Like, this run is so slow. And I got a super potion. Already a super potion? Oh, I didn't even wait. You know what? I want to say F it and just fall off the cliff. Just because you said not to, I'm gonna. I'm gonna see what happens if I take the wrong path. Or is the game gonna like force me to not? Oh, did I progress the thing? Oh. Was that scripted? Was I supposed to go there? I feel like that was scripted. I was gonna straight up go there just to see if I could fall off the cliff. And I feel like they were like, oh, they're probably gonna wanna see if they can fall off the cliff. And boom, progress the story. Grr, bow wow. <laughs> Dude, just like, get out. <laughs> And we've fallen off the cliff. Now I got saved by our phone. Yip yip. Appa yip yip. <laughs> Man, this is the earliest we've come in contact with a legendary Pokemon. Or the box legendary Pokemon. The mysterious Pokemon seems to be too weak to move. Maybe you can give it something to help it perk up. Uh, am I supposed to give it the sandwich? I'm giving it the sandwich. Yeah. Like, here, food, eat it. 
because I'm not going to eat it. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Agias. I don't know what this. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, there's a tunnel. Oh, is it going in the tunnel? It's going in the tunnel. I was told not to go into the tunnel. I'm going in the tunnel to follow the Pokemon because why not? I guess. Wait, was was that the Pokemon or was that from the cave? It's transforming. Oh wait, is that its at normal form? Or is that its mount form? Okay, that, I think that's its normal form. I think what we saw was its mount form. Oh, that pixelation though. Uh. Oh, this game. Yes, yeah, so we go in Strange Cave to follow Strange Pokemon Inlet Grotto. We keep going. I think we were told not to go here, and we're going here. Oi, Chris! <clears throat> there you are, Chris. You okay? You're not hurt, right? I'm fine. I'm managing. Thank goodness. I was really worried. If you've gotten hurt because I said we should go looking for whatever made that cry. No, never mind that. Right now, we've got to focus on getting you back up here. You just got to find some way to climb out of there. If you can get close enough, I'll try pulling. I'll try pulling you up with one of my Pokemon moves. Yeah, cool. I'm... Hey, what's that Pokemon in front of you? It kind of seems like it's waiting for you. So, whoa. Okay. Oh, that was amazing. The Pokemon might be as strong as mine. Maybe stronger. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's because I... I cannot pause the game right now. What is this? Is that just grass? Or moss? Meanwhile, I have free cocoa. Oh. There's a bunch of hound hours. It's a mob of hound hours. And this this dude just like, yeah, get out. Yeah. I wonder if I wonder if I should slow the tech speed. Uh, is it not letting me go this way? Because I gotta, uh, I have to follow the, I have to follow the Pokemon. I can't veer off the track. All right, uh, you wanna go? Chris, look out, something's coming. Do 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 do. Behind you, 
you. It's behind you. It's a hound doom. Doom. Oh, why would you let me send out my free Coco? No. There's no way I can run. Is this scripted? Am I gonna get bodied? Do I have Doom use Crunch? No! Oh, it, it just... And then it just used Tail Whip. So I have the power of God and anime on my side. What are you gonna do? Although, I'm kind of on my own. Thanks, buddy! Hey! Up here, quick! Get me out of here! Whee! Thank you! Super low frame rate, but okay! We'll take it, I guess. Way to go! For a second, I thought you were both goners! Really, you thought the giant Pokemon that's literally radiating, like, legendary energy was going to be wiped out that easily. Squeeze. And now I'm tired. Whoa, what's wrong? It's out of juice. Maybe it used up all its power? What is this Pokemon? Anyway, it kind of looks like a Cyclozar. What the hell is a Cyclozar? But I've never seen one quite like this before. Oh, is Cyclozar the like base form of this Pokemon? And now it looks so different from a minute ago. You think it's okay? I don't know. Can't tell either, huh, Chris? Well, all that aside, I'm seriously glad to have you back up here in one piece. You know, that battle down there was really something. You and this fellow looked perfectly in sync facing down that Hound Doom, even though I did nothing, this Pokemon just did whatever the hell it wanted. What? You didn't even tell it what to do? See, exactly. At least my character's not capping. I guess it's not like you're this Pokemon's trainer yet, huh? Oh, good. Looks like it's perked up a little. Do you think this fellow was the one making that mysterious cry we heard before? Oh, Gauss. Gauss. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Mm -hmm. The more I look at this Pokemon, the more mysterious it seems. If you do become a trainer, you gotta let me battle against it. Let's exchange numbers so we can get in touch if we somehow get separated again. Is that easy to get someone's number, huh? Yo, she got a black Rodham, Rotom phone. I keep calling it Rodham, and I'm pretty sure it's not Rodham. But I want that. And here. This will let you teach your Pokemon a move to help it battle stronger opponents. Swift. How does that help me battle stronger opponents? Star shape. Yeah, it doesn't miss. Unless they like, I was thinking like, did they change this move or something? I think you, before you use it though, TMs can only be used once. Oh, we're back to the whole TMs only being used once again now? 
Like, they can never pick one. Uh. You've both been through enough for a minute. I think we better take a breather. Me too. Let's just get to that lighthouse. That'll be a good spot to relax. Um... <clears throat> what am I... Oh. Options. I want to change the tech speed back to normal. Uh... Yes. What are helping functions? I kind of want to test it out. The list of TMs you can make, blah, blah, blah. Okay. I can't, man. All right, oh, who's this green backpacker? Why, that little... What are you doing out here? Mm. I'm not talking to you two. You can shove off. Wait, I know you. Aren't you Arvin? You're enrolled in the humanities track, right? And aren't you the son of that Pokemon researcher, Professor Toro? Doesn't matter who my dad is. The real issue here is what in the world this Pokemon is doing out here. And what is this form it's in? And what is with this form it's in? Yeah, my dad at the bottom of this cliff. It saved me from a tight spot. True. See, you've heard this strange cry and we tried to investigate, but... Chris fell off a cliff. That Pokemon saved him, but it seems like it wore itself out in the process. It got kinda... slumpy afterward. But you should have seen it before. It looked totally different. It was unbelievably strong. Well, yeah, as it should be. But it can't fight while it's like this. This form Miraidon takes in battle, that's its true form. Miraidon? Is that this Pokemon's name? How'd you know it? Miraidon, you ride on, he, she, we ride on. <laughs> uh, I think that's the that's the one good thing about this Pokemon's name is it's very memeable. You can't go into the lab. It's locked. I don't remember ever seeing you around, but given their uniform, you go to the academy too, do you? Miraidon isn't the sort of Pokemon that any old trainer can hope to command. It's special. Special how? What sort of Pokemon is it? You think you're up to ordering Mirai down around? Then how about I test your worthiness? Sure. Heh. <laughs> well, look at you. Quite the little go-getter. I've been feeling all out of sorts. So I'm going to use this battle to blast these doldrums away. You're really going to take out your aggression on a kid. Yeah. Pokemon Drainer Arvin. Wow, it. Wait, go, go. And then we got our freaking spectator. These memories are leaving a bad taste in my mouth, and I want it gone. Alright, you're getting torched. Oh, okay. Easy. This is gonna be free as hell, because I kind of over leveled. Catching a bunch of Pokemon. Hey! Ah! Seems you know a thing or two about battle. Give me that money. 
Oof. You really thought battling me with a level 5 to see if I could command a legendary Pokemon was worth it? Well, Chris, that's that was awesome. I guess I wasn't ever going to stand a chance using some Pokemon I just only caught. Yeah, no, duh. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> but if you really think you can take Miraidon off my hands, you'll need this. It's the Pokeball that Brute's been kept in. You obtained Miradon's Pokeball. Miradon's Pokeball. Pokemon that can hold the mysterious Pokemon known as Miradon. Boy named Arvin gave it to you. This old man. So, why'd you have it? I can't tell if this... I'm gonna be honest, I don't know how, I feel like this person is like an old man, but it seems like, I, it seems like this person's like a teenager, based on, like, unless, I don't, I can't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't care. Hmm. Anyway, that thing's your problem now, not mine, good luck. What? Oi! Can you not hear me or something? Fine, be that way, but you better actually show. What a weirdo. Do I have auto texts on? No, I don't. He. <laughs> I got a legendary Pokemon. Off the rip. That Arvin guy definitely know more knows more than he's letting on. Next time, he and I are battling. I'm gonna wring some answers at him. But oh right, we gotta climb the lighthouse. Can't wait to show you the view of our school. Bro, let's do it. I need a freaking change of pace. Uh, Coco, Coco. I can't name. He's not a goat. He's a alligator or a crocodile. So it kind of wouldn't make sense to call. Call in the Coco Goat. Not a Coco Goat. South Province, Area 1. Let's go. Yo, look at the Wingo. Oh, Cricks. That's Mega Mesa Goza. Mesa Goza. That is not very well rendered. I'm going to keep it a buck. And that huge building with a Pokeball on it is our school. That looks like the freaking champion. That looks like where the champion place should be. It's going to be so great having you in the same class, Chris. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> I know, dude. <laughs> Me too. Hmm. Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chances to learn about Pokemon battling. Isn't it awesome what you can see from up here? Mountains, forests, grasslands, beautiful nature stuff. As far as the eye can see. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. Let's make it to Los, Pla Los Platos. Los Platos, for starters. I'm gonna struggle with pronouncing these. Los, Los Platos. That's right on the way. 
Vamos, come on. All right. Um cool. So I think this is a good place for me to stop. Uh yeah. So I haven't gotten that far in. I said I was going to go until I got two badges, but I forgot. Well, I didn't forget. I didn't realize just how long the tutorial was going to be for this game. And yeah. So uh so far, I I mean, I'm enjoying the change in pace of like Pokemon stuff or whatever. But as you can see, it's very rough. <laughs> like it looks very rough, but uh, I guess I have to subvert my expectations and only really care about the Pokemon battling aspect. So yeah, I mean the po like the Pokemon battling aspect, the like interacting with Pokemon in the environment is actually not too bad. I've, I had like the one issue of like, I fell into a bush and couldn't land. <laughs> so that's fun. That's fun. Um, but yeah, so next time when I come back, I'm just gonna go and see how far I get and hopefully I can get some more bad or not some more badges some badges because right now we got none and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please leave a like comment down below what you all think if you've been playing this game please for love of God no spoilers I am still trying to play through this obviously uh, and yeah and if you want to see more videos hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon if you want to be notified when i go live but as always this is chris and i will see you later